Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez, and today I'm going to show you an inside look into a portrait shoot that I did with my friend Eli and his friend Elizabeth, where we used some pretty beginner off-camera flash gear. Although we intended to shoot on a bright, sunny day because you have more possibilities in the types of photos you can create, the day of the shoot came and it ended up being a cloudy, overcast, gloomy kind of day, but that gave me a great opportunity to show you guys just exactly what I would recommend to anybody starting off-camera flash. Before I continue, I did want to state that I know I'm not using the most budget camera and lens, the Sony a7R III and the Sony 85G Master. I did want to focus just on the off-camera flash gear in this video because typically when people ask me about off-camera flash, they're already invested in a nice camera and lens, so it kind of makes sense in that aspect. But if you guys are interested in seeing what I can do with budget off-camera flash gear and a budget camera and lens, that video is coming up, so keep an eye out for that. So when it comes to off-camera flash, all you really need is a light stand, a light, maybe a bracket in case you're using a speed light or speed light shaped strobe, a modifier, and a transmitter that's going to enable the camera to communicate between the camera and the light to know exactly when to fire. Light stands typically vary in price depending on the material that the stand is constructed from and the height. So if you want something that's very strong and has a lot of height to it, then it's probably going to cost more than something that's not as strong and not as high. So you definitely have to consider those two aspects when figuring out what kind of stand you want to get. The bracket that I mentioned that you would need if you're using a speed light or a speed light shaped strobe is going to be the Godox S-Type bracket and it's pretty much the same design anywhere online and it can be found for around $20. The reason why I recommend the Godox S-Type mount as opposed to the older design of the speed light umbrella holder is because the Godox S-Type mount has an umbrella holder as well as a Bowens mount that allows me to use any of the Bowens mount modifiers that I use with my strobes with my speed lights. As for the lighting, the best thing that you can do when learning off-camera flash is use a manual speed light and the one that I recommend is the Godox TT600 or as it's known by Adorama as the Flashpoint R2 Zoom Manual Speed Light. And the reason why I recommend this guy is because it's not that expensive at around $60 and it has a built-in transceiver which is a transmitter and a receiver which makes connecting to it wirelessly and controlling it very easy. What's awesome about the Godox TT600 is that it's able to be used with a multitude of different camera systems just so long as the transmitter matches the camera system. In the BTS footage I'm about to show you, my friend Eli is shooting with a Canon version transmitter because he's shooting with Canon and I'm using a Sony version because I'm shooting with Sony. So now that you have a light, the thing that you need to communicate between the light and the camera is a transmitter. And the one that I recommend is the Godox X1 or known as the R2 by Adorama. And the reason why I recommend this transmitter is because it's the cheapest one that they offer and it has high speed sync and TTL capabilities. So now that you have a light stand, bracket, light and transmitter, you're pretty much set to start using off-camera flash, but if you're interested in getting soft light like in the photos I'm gonna show you in today's video, then what I highly recommend you get is a 31 by 31 inch foldable softbox. I highly recommend this softbox for a couple different reasons, but the first is that it puts out nice, beautiful, soft light. It's able to do this because of the two diffusion panels that are inside, but keep in mind that each diffusion panel is not only softening the light, but it's also cutting down the light by one stop. So if you find yourself in a situation where you need more power, then taking off one or both of the diffusion panels is going to help give you that power back, but you'll be sacrificing the soft light. The second reason why I recommend this softbox is because it folds down nice and small, which is perfect if you're traveling with a small bag. And it's actually because of this reason why I bring this softbox whenever I go travel anywhere. The third and final reason why I recommend this softbox is because it's cheap. It can be found for around $20 by itself or around $30 to $34 with that Godox S-Type bracket that I mentioned earlier. All right, so by this point, you should have a nice beginner off-camera flash setup, but if you ever feel like you want to advance your off-camera flash game, then I will be leaving links to not just this beginner setup, but an intermediate and an advanced setup in the description area below. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, don't forget to give it a like. And also, if you're new here, please consider subscribing because I do put out educational content every single week. All right, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.
the setup for the last couple of shots.